Calvin. Yeah. You gonna help me clean your room? Yeah. What happened here? So when I was playing with my elder little grandpa, my elder little grandpa made a mess. It looks like a storm. Now we're gonna clean this up. Hey everyone, it's Le'Veon and welcome back to my channel. I am here to do another cleaning video, but today I am decluttering and cleaning my daughter's bedroom. She completely had a good old time in here. Um, as you can see, she has female polish. She's been trying to paint her nails. She just got a brand new LOL toys. She could not wait to open up. You see that there on the floor and she just threw the trash everywhere with us being home a little bit more um, we do spend a lot more time indoors so I do just kind of allow her to you know have a good old time in her room so you know having it a mess isn't that big of a deal but I just couldn't believe how much mess has accumulated <laughs> in this room I also um, am going to go through and reorganize her closet and throw out some of the old clothes that she cannot fit anymore um, and then just replace them with some of the new clothes that I did purchase her. So stick along, I hope you enjoy this video. you also see my daughter trying to help um, in this video but she gets so excited with playing with all the toys that she forgot that she had that uh, she kind of gets a little distracted. So as always, thank you so much for stopping by. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Before I started with anything else, I did want to first um, take off all the bedding and throw that in the washing machine just to make sure that everything will be nice and clean um, by bedtime for her. Once a year I do go through her toy bin and declutter. We do like a um, keep throw out pile where um, either some of the toys that she's either outgrown or toys that's just broken that's in the toy bin that we like to throw out or um, just donate. When I'm decluttering her room I do like to ask her um, what toys that she is still playing with and what toys that she would like to donate um, as you can see she actually <laughs> liked all of her toys some of them that she just couldn't part with but a lot of them she did do a really good job with um, deciding to actually go ahead and donate I do go through all of her clothes and see which one she can fit and which one she can't. Um, some ones that I'm not sure of, I will have her just go ahead and try on just to make sure that she can fit them. Or maybe if she can't fit them, then I'll just go ahead and um, you know donate don't those as well.
system when I'm organizing her closet. Not a specific system, just one that I actually go by. I'll put her hoodies um, in one side on one side, her dresses, then her shirts from light to dark, her sweatpants, and then the jeans from dark to light. No specific reason, I just like to do it that way, and I do like to make sure all of my hangers are at least the same color and going the same way. When it's school time, I will pre-select outfits for her to wear and then also section that off. So it's just easier for us to go by with our morning routine. If you guys have any small children who also love watching YouTube, please send them over to my daughter's uh, YouTube channel. It's Callie Coconut, where she does a lot of how-to videos for children her age. On days that I do a thorough cleaning, I do require her to help me out. I do think it's important for kids to understand that they do have to um, make sure that their rooms are clean. On um, everyday cleanings, she has to clean her own room, and I'll just come by and you know make sure everything is put in its right place. But she does really good with cleaning um, up her own toys. All right, so now we're moving right along. We are deciding on what toys are actually gonna stay and what toys are actually gonna go. If you guys have daughters who love the LOLs, you know that they have so many small pieces and those pieces just are always everywhere. So I am putting a lot of the pieces in a little box so that way she'll know where um, the LOL clothes and toys and, and whatever else they have, you know, attached to them. Um, she'll be able to easily find those.
method that I do when I'm cleaning my blinds. Um, I go through with a microfiber cloth and one by one clean off all of my blinds. But since she had so much that was going on in her room, I was not going to do that that day. It was already tiring. So I did decide to go through and vacuum the blinds. Um, it was so much easier and more convenient to do it that way. So that's just what I decided to do. I did clean the window sills and wipe it down like usual. And that was the easy part, but going by one by one this time was just not um, happening today. So you'll see me doing like a little scrub um, in one area a little bit more. Um, in the beginning clip, I did show that she had fingernail polish that was stuck on the dresser. So I was trying to like get that off without actually scratching the paint um, from the dresser. school shopping pretty early um, as soon as the schools put out the school list for that year I do like to go and get some things little by little um, that way I'm not like rushing at the end um, or last minute to to get all of the um, school supplies that's needed for school let me know guys in the comments do you do that as well how do you like to do school shopping for your children editing this video I really had to give my daughter a thumbs up and thank her because she did a good job with helping me out even though I know she really wanted to play with all of her toys but I think she did an amazing job with just sticking through and helping me out
so if you are still hanging out with us and you are enjoying this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you aren't already please consider subscribing do I love the print on this quilt set I love the fact that it's specifically made for day beds so actually placing it on the bed and making it up is so much easier than just putting on a regular um, comforter set